Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com, the fourth week of February, 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Actor Gordon Pinsent died February 25, 2023, in his sleep at the age of 92. He was well known in his native Canada for roles in movies and TV shows including The Red Green Show, Due South, and Away From Her. He is also being remembered as the longtime voice of Babar the Elephant in animated TV series, movies, and video games. Pinsent was a veteran of the Canadian Army who served for four years. Dancer Helen Washington died February 23, 2023, at the age of 78. She was best known for her work as a dancer in the Isaac Hayes Movement stage show, where she stood out with her iconic shaved head. Washington is also being remembered as a songwriter who co-wrote hits for Stax Records, including I'm Afraid of Losing You. Former U.S. Senator James Aberusk died February 24, 2023, at his home in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, at the age of 92. He represented South Dakota in both the House of Representatives and the Senate, becoming the first Arab American U.S. Senator. He is being remembered for his work in support of the Arab American and Native American communities. Aberusk was a U.S. Navy veteran who served in the Korean War. Animator Bernie Mattinson died February 27, 2023, at a nursing facility in Canoga Park, California. He died after a short illness at the age of 87. He was the longest-serving employee in Disney history, spending almost 70 years with the company. He animated films from Sleeping Beauty to last year's Strange World. Mattinson is being remembered for writing and directing Mickey's Christmas Carol, based on a concept he pitched to Disney. Reverend Bob Richards died February 26, 2023, at his home in Waco, Texas, at the age of 97. He was a two-time Olympic gold medalist in pole vault, known as the vaulting vicar because he was also an ordained minister. Richards is being remembered as the very first of the many athletes who've been featured over the years on the front of Wheaties cereal boxes. Stuntman and actor Rico Browning died February 27, 2023 at his home in Southwest Ranches, Florida. He died of natural causes at the age of 93. He played the frightening Gill Man in underwater scenes of the legendary film Creature from the Black Lagoon. He was the last surviving actor to play a classic monster for Universal Pictures. He is also being remembered as a screenwriter and director who co-wrote the story for the movie Flipper and directed many episodes of the TV show. Browning was a U.S. Air Force veteran and a star of their swim team. Baseball player Gene Fout died February 28, 2023, at the age of 97. In the 1940s and 50s, she was a star pitcher for the South Bend Blue Sox of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, which was profiled in the movie and TV series A League of Their Own. Fout is being remembered as the only professional pitcher, male or female, to pitch two perfect games. French resistance fighter Simone Seguin died February 21, 2023, at a nursing home in France at the age of 97. She was just 18 years old when she joined the resistance and helped capture 25 German soldiers, in addition to delivering messages that contributed to the liberation of France. Seguin is being remembered as a heroine of the Resistance who was honored with the prestigious Croix de Guerre and later became a pediatric nurse. Singer and actress Irma Serrano died March 1, 2023 in Mexico. 
she died of a heart attack at the age of 89. She was a star of the golden age of Mexican cinema and was known for songs including La Martina. She later became a politician elected to Mexico's Senate. Serrano is being remembered as La Tigresa with a high-profile personal life and decades in the public eye. Jazz musician Wayne Shorter died March 2, 2023, at a hospital in Los Angeles at the age of 89. He was an icon of the saxophone who played with Art Blakey's Jazz Messengers and the Miles Davis Quintet before co-founding the jazz fusion group Weather Report. He is being remembered as one of the most influential and celebrated jazz musicians of his time. Shorter was a U.S. Army veteran who served for two years in the 1950s. At least 57 people were killed in a train crash near Larissa, Greece on February 28, 2023. This is a developing story and the details may change quickly in upcoming days. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of former U.S. Congressman John Walter Olver. Flags in Ohio have been lowered to honor the memory of State Representative Chris Jordan. Flags in North Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Congressman Jim Broyhill. Flags in Tennessee have been lowered to honor the memory of Memphis Police Department Officer Jeffrey Redd, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Michigan have been lowered to honor the memory of Flint firefighter Ricky Hill Jr., who died in the line of duty. Another death that received media attention this week was that of Linda Kasabian. She was a member of the Manson family, who was present when other members of the group committed their notorious murders in 1969. She later helped put Charles Manson behind bars, testifying as a key witness for the prosecution's case against him. Kasabian died January 21, 2023, in Tacoma, Washington, at the age of 73. Her death was reported this week. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Ten years ago this week, actress Bonnie Franklin died at the age of 69. She was an Emmy nominee for her performance in One Day at a Time as single mom Anne Romano. Twenty years ago this week, children's television icon Fred Rogers died at the age of 74. His show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, taught kindness and emotional skills to generations of children. Twenty years ago this week, musician Hank Ballard died at the age of 75. He was a rock and roll pioneer whose songs included Work With Me Annie and the first recorded version of The Twist, which he wrote. Thirty years ago this week, actress and director Lillian Gish died at the age of 99. She was one of the top stars of the silent film era, with a widely praised career that lasted an amazing 75 years. Forty years ago this week, playwright Tennessee Williams died at the age of 71. His American classics include A Streetcar Named Desire, The Glass Menagerie, and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Fifty-five years ago this week, singer Frankie Lyman died at the age of 25. He led the doo-wop group The Teenagers, known for hits such as Why Do Fools Fall in Love. Musician George Harrison was born 80 years ago this week. He died in 2001 at the age of 58. He was the lead guitarist for The Beatles and went on to a solo career with hit singles including My Sweet Lord and All Those Years Ago. Musician Fats Domino was born 95 years ago this week. He died in 2017 at the age of 89. His songs, including Blueberry Hill and Ain't That a Shame, helped lay the groundwork for the development of rock and roll. Musician Doc Watson was born 100 years ago this week. 
He died in 2012 at the age of 89. Blind since childhood, he became a legend of bluegrass music. There are many more celebrity anniversaries this week, and we pay tribute to them in our new Tuesday video series, Death Anniversaries and Birthdays. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.